All right, so next we're going to move into our master section. Um, this is the volume control, the tempo control, and the swing control um, for the master sound of machine. Um, up here is the volume control, the pitch control, and the time control for the sound of groups and uh, the actual sounds on your machine. So for instance, right here I have a kick drum. Let me put the camera down right now real quick. Um, the kick drum. And basically, if I use the volume control, um, if I hold the sound down and I use the volume control, it, it, ma it only does it for the sound, the sound's volume. So, you, I don't know if you can notice, but it's louder by 5 decibels, and you can bring it right back down. Um, also, the, the pitch of the sound. So, back to the kick, I can change the pitch. If I hold it down and I put the pitch lower, or let, me, let me do higher because it's more noticeable. A higher pitch maybe a little bit higher than that even. Um, so basically if you hold down the sound those those controls turn to just sound and groups. Like let's say if I want to do a group, I hold down a group button and I change the, the pitch. So it, it changes the sound of everything. So So basically, it changes the whole the whole sound of the group. So let me go back and put this back. Um, so basically, next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna I'm just gonna play the beat. Here's my beat that I have. So I'm gonna put the volume down while I'm doing this, so you can see how the volume um, works. Okay, um, the next thing I'm going to show you guys is the tempo. Watch this. The next thing we're going to discuss is this note repeat button. It's very simple. It does exactly what it says. It repeats notes. You hold this button down and you hold whatever sound you want repeated and it plays it um, based on your tempo as well as it has settings up here so you can select how fast you want. You want it to be a one eighth note, you want it to be every sixteenth, every sixteenth but a triplet, every thirty second note. So um, basically you change the values up there, that's something else we'll talk about in a different tutorial. But basically that's what your note repeat button does and for instance of the tap tempo on top, um, if you hold shift down and you tap your tempo, like let's say it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, it changes your tempo to that. So if, if, if I play it, now it's at the two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And if I wanted to go faster again, I can do this live. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So. Basically, that's what your tap tempo feature does. Um, so, we'll move on to the next tutorial now. So next, um, really quick, your group buttons. Basically, this groups, this enables you to group different sounds together for different purposes, whatever you want, however you want. So for my purposes, right here I have my drums. So if I, I, I play what I have totally, this is my basic master beat, what I have so far. And put the volume up. And basically, if I wanted to, I could just solo the beats, the, um, the drums, hit solo, and then hit A for the drum. That's where I put my drums, and now it's just going to be. And I can do vice versa, and I can hit solo and hit my sound that I just put in there. And basically, that's really what your groups does, and it, it, it really helps you... Um, just put all your samples and all your sounds and, and, and helps you organize them. So we'll go more into depth and we'll be using groups later um, in a later tutorial. Alright, time for the next section of um, the machine, your transport section. Um, these eight buttons are dedicated to the playback of um, 
mach your your project. So this first button restart it does exactly what that says. Uh, it restarts the track. Um, it plays you back at bar one of whether it be your scene or your whole project. Um, this these next two buttons, the step backwards and step forward button, allow you to skip back and for forward um, through the arrangement one bar at a time. Um, that's something we'll discuss in a later tutorial. This grid button, um, uh, I can just give you a basic overview. It really just helps you select um, d different sizes, grid sizes for quantization when, it, when you're recording. So um, it really, like, let me show you. For instance, if I hold grid down, these screen change, these screens change, and they enable you to select a step mode. Like if you want it to be in one sixteenth, that's when it's in, what it's in right now. Um, so these pads, every time I hit a pad, it represents. Um, one sixteenth of a bar. Um, I could change that, and then the pads can be they they can be different steps. Um, sorry, I'm I'm I don't know exactly how to uh, describe it. I can show you guys how to use it. I'm going to show you guys how to use it in a later tutorial. Um, this these this fifth button right here, the play button. Obviously, it plays. Um, if you hold shift play, it activates the metronome in the beat. Um, we'll we'll be using that a lot in this tutorial series um so uh... yeah next the record button um... if you hit record button and play at the same time it starts your recording if you hit um, shift and you hold record it enables a count in feature where it gives you a metronome um, four bars but before the um, recording is going to begin just to give you a little bit of time a little bit of a cushion um, before you record this next button right here the erase button um, you know, sometimes you really need to erase something. Sometimes you make a mistake and you need to erase something as quickly and as simple um, as possible. So there's a button just for this on here. Um, you can hold the erase button during playback and um, press the pads that you want to erase. Like, let's say for instance, let me play this. Oh, I don't have anything recorded? Oh yeah, I do. Let me unmute it. Sorry, I was muted. Um, so let's say I want to I wanna delete... Let's say I want to delete the drum, right? So um, I'm going to put the camera down. Let's say I want to delete the drum. Sorry. I'm going to hold a race. I'm going to play the song, and I'm going to hold a race, and I'm going to hold the drum down. So now, and let's say I want to erase the whole thing. I can hold two down at the same time to record, I mean to erase both of them. And voila, um, that's how the erase button works. Um, I'm going to go into a more detailed tutorial on how to do some things with the erase button. Um, and last, shift. Shift enables you to use the secondary controls of every button on this machine. Like everything that has another something up here, right here, see counting, you have to hold shift and record for counting. Shift and play for the metronome. Shift and step for the step functions. And on the pads there's a lot. All 16 have something that they do. Um, and that's something we will discuss later in this tutorial series. As you remember, this is just an overview of machine. Now it's time for the body of machine, where it all comes together. This, these 16 pads are dedicated to sounds and the, the, the controls of machine. Um, they can do so much that you probably don't know yet. Um, and if you do know, um, you need to teach me some because I, pro I probably don't know all of them either. Um, basically, all of them have a sound and you can control sounds with them. You can hold navigate mode and control your screen with them. Well, we'll discuss that later. Um, they do so much. You can hold scene and change scenes, hold pattern and change the pattern pad mode and change, turn them into keyboard notes, um, that's something we'll discuss. Um, so that's ba the pads are everything in machine. Um, so next we'll start off with uh, the scenes. Basically the scenes they organize your track. Um, they're different, like it's like scenes are in a movie, scenes are in a song, um, that's what the scene buttons are. They h help you switch from scene to scene. If you want to switch from your hook to your chorus, from your chorus to your bridge, from your bridge to your outro, um, those are your scenes. Um, patterns. Patterns are like 
like uh, like you're thinking, patterns are different patterns that you can play with um, different sequences in which you can play your samples. Like this this one right here. That's a pattern. That's a pattern right there, and I could I could change it. And I can make it do something different. This, this is something we'll discuss later, but um, the pattern in the scenes and the, as well as the groups they really help you build your overall beat. Um, pad mode. Pad mode is something a lot of people don't really take advantage of. It turns your machine. You could change um, what mode you're using your machine pads in. For instance, let's say I take this sound, this this kick sound. Um, and I go into pad mode, and let me just lock pad mode. By hitting keyboard, I turn into a keyboard now. Um, it, it changes the 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 um the sound of machine and the note that it plays by a half step. So so basically, there's your keyboard mode. Um, next, let me unlock pad mode. Um. Next, we have our navigate buttons. Sometimes you're working on huge projects and you need to navigate through um, your arrangement, but you don't want to use your mouse or your keyboard. Um, this right here, these top buttons uh, help you navigate through, I believe it's the scenes, and these bottom notes help you navigate through your patterns. And I think these, um, so this is the zoom, this is left and right, zoom and left and right. Um, the same thing right here, zoom buttons, in and out, and left and right, and I, I really, uh, I don't really use these buttons, but we will have a dedicated tutorial to, um, navigate mode. Um, next, the duplicate function, just what you think it does, it duplicates things. If you want to duplicate, let's say, your drum sound from here, you hit duplicate, you hit the drum sound, and you put the, where you want it to end up. So here's, now you have two drum sounds that sound exactly the same. Um, next, the select button enables you to select scenes, sounds, um, anything. Uh, scenes, sounds, patterns, uh, uh, groups, anything. And, and, and you can copy and paste with these buttons. Um, that's something we'll discuss later. Um, the solo button, as you saw, it solos. You can either solo a sound or you can solo a group. Um, and the mute button does the same thing, but the other way around. You can mute a sound or a group. Um, and... That's basically your mind, body, and soul of machine. Um, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Uh, the next tutorial is going to be about the software of machine. Um, if you guys have any questions, if I didn't go into depth about something and you really have a, a, a question right now, you can't wait for the tutorial to come out about it, which it will, trust me, um, definitely hit me up with a comment and I will cater to your question. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is Sebastian Jabasi. I'll see you guys later.